When you face rejection, it can feel like a crushing blow, especially when it comes from those you believe should support and uplift you. But perhaps there's a deeper meaning behind their rejection. Consider this, their dismissal of you could actually be a form of divine protection. Think about it this way, imagine you're on a path to greatness, destined for something extraordinary. Along this journey, there will be those who don't see your worth, who can't grasp your potential. Their rejection isn't a reflection of your inadequacy, rather, it could be a sign that they're not meant to be part of your journey. Those who reject you may be unable to handle the magnitude of your power and potential. They might feel threatened by your light, intimidated by your ability to shine so brightly. In their fear and insecurity, they push you away, unable to comprehend or appreciate the divine energy within you. But remember, their rejection doesn't diminish your worth or value. In fact, it could be a validation of your greatness. The chosen ones, those who recognize your true potential, will stand by you and support you on your journey. They see your power and embrace it, knowing that together, you can achieve incredible things. So, don't let the haters bring you down. Instead, see their rejection as a form of divine protection, guiding you away from those who are not meant to be part of your destiny. Embrace the chosen ones who see your light and walk with you towards your divine purpose. As you continue on your path, it's important to stay rooted in your belief in yourself and your purpose. The rejection you face from others may try to shake that belief, but remember that your worth is not determined by their acceptance or approval. Sometimes, people reject what they don't understand or what they fear. Your potential and power may be intimidating to them because it challenges their own sense of self and their perception of the world. They may feel threatened by the possibility that you could surpass them or achieve things they never could. But their rejection is not a reflection of your shortcomings, it's a reflection of their own limitations and insecurities. By rejecting you, they are unknowingly shielding you from their negativity and doubt. They are clearing the path for you to find those who will lift you up, support you, and help you reach your fullest potential. Remember, the journey of the Chosen One is not always easy. There will be obstacles, doubters, and naysayers along the way. But each rejection is a stepping stone, guiding you closer to your destiny. Embrace the lessons that come from rejection, but never let it dim your light or dampen your spirit. You are divinely guided and protected, surrounded by those who see your true worth and celebrate your greatness. Trust in the path that has been laid out for you, and keep moving forward with courage, resilience, and unwavering faith in yourself. The concept of divine blessings in response to the treatment of haters towards the chosen ones is a profound one, rooted in the idea of spiritual justice and cosmic balance. When someone is chosen for a special purpose or possesses extraordinary potential, they often face opposition and negativity from others who are unable to comprehend or accept their gifts. However, this adversity is not without purpose, it serves as a catalyst for divine intervention and blessings. Firstly, consider the spiritual principle of karma or the law of cause and effect. According to this belief, the energy that one puts out into the universe returns to them in some form or another. When haters mistreat or reject the chosen ones, they are generating negative energy that will eventually come back to them. Conversely, the chosen ones, who respond to adversity with grace, humility, and resilience, are sowing seeds of positivity that will be rewarded in due time. Furthermore, the rejection and mistreatment experienced by the chosen ones serve to refine and strengthen their character. Adversity is a powerful teacher, and through facing challenges and overcoming obstacles, the chosen ones develop qualities such as perseverance, compassion, and wisdom. These virtues are invaluable assets that attract blessings and abundance into their lives. Moreover, the way in which the chosen ones respond to adversity is a testament to their faith and trust in a higher power. Instead of allowing themselves to be consumed by bitterness or resentment, they choose to rise above the negativity and maintain their integrity and dignity. This unwavering faith and resilience align them with the divine will and attract divine favor and blessings. Additionally, the rejection and mistreatment experienced by the chosen ones often serve to elevate them to even greater heights. History is replete with examples of individuals who faced intense opposition and persecution but ultimately emerged victorious, achieving extraordinary feats and leaving a lasting legacy. The trials and tribulations they endured only served to fuel their determination and drive, propelling them towards their destiny. In essence, the mistreatment of the chosen ones by haters is not a hindrance but a catalyst for their spiritual growth and ultimate triumph. Through their faith, resilience, and unwavering commitment to their purpose, 
they attract divine blessings and abundance into their lives, fulfilling their destiny and leaving a profound impact on the world. The blessings bestowed upon the chosen ones in response to the mistreatment by haters can also be seen as a reflection of God's divine justice and mercy. Throughout history and across various spiritual traditions, there is a recurring theme of God rewarding those who remain steadfast in the face of adversity and persecution. In many religious texts and teachings, there are numerous examples of individuals who were chosen by God for a special purpose and faced opposition from those around them. However, God intervened on their behalf, showering them with blessings and ensuring that their efforts were ultimately rewarded. This divine intervention can take many forms, including material wealth, success in endeavors, spiritual enlightenment, and inner peace. The chosen ones who remain faithful and persevere through trials and tribulations are often blessed with abundance in all aspects of their lives. Moreover, the blessings bestowed upon the chosen ones serve as a powerful reminder of God's sovereignty and providence. Regardless of the actions of haters or the challenges they may face, the chosen ones can take comfort in the knowledge that God is always watching over them, guiding them, and providing for their needs. It's important to note that the blessings received by the chosen ones are not just for their personal benefit but also for the greater good. As they are entrusted with special gifts and talents, they are called to use them to uplift others, spread positivity, and make a positive impact on the world. In this way, the mistreatment by haters serves as a catalyst for the chosen ones to fulfill their divine purpose and contribute to the betterment of humanity. By remaining faithful to their calling and trusting in God's plan, they become beacons of light and hope in a world often overshadowed by darkness and despair. In summary, the mistreatment of the chosen ones by haters ultimately leads to divine blessings as a result of God's justice, mercy, and providence. Through their faith, resilience, and commitment to their purpose, the chosen ones attract abundance and blessings into their lives, fulfilling their destiny and bringing glory to the divine. Rejection, though often painful and disheartening, can indeed be reframed as a form of divine redirection and protection. When we face rejection, whether it's from a job opportunity, a relationship, or a personal endeavor, it's easy to perceive it as a setback or a failure. However, viewing rejection through a spiritual lens allows us to see it as a guiding force, steering us toward paths that are more aligned with our true purpose and protecting us from situations that may not serve our highest good. Consider this, imagine you're pursuing a job opportunity that you're convinced is perfect for you. You put your heart and soul into the application process, only to receive a rejection letter. In that moment, it's natural to feel disappointed and defeated. But what if, instead of seeing it as a rejection, you viewed it as divine redirection? Perhaps that job wasn't meant for you, and by closing that door, God is guiding you toward a different opportunity that will be more fulfilling and rewarding in the long run. Similarly, in matters of the heart, romantic rejection can feel like a crushing blow to our self-esteem and confidence. But what if God is using that rejection to protect us from a relationship that would ultimately lead to heartache and disappointment? By redirecting us away from individuals who are not meant to be part of our journey, God is safeguarding our emotional well-being and guiding us toward partnerships that are built on love, respect, and mutual growth. Rejection can also serve as a catalyst for personal growth and self-discovery. When we experience setbacks or disappointments, we're forced to re-evaluate our goals, beliefs, and priorities. We may discover hidden strengths and talents within ourselves that we never knew existed, or we may uncover deeper desires and aspirations that were previously obscured by the pursuit of external validation. In this way, rejection becomes an opportunity for introspection and self-improvement. Instead of viewing it as a roadblock, we can see it as a stepping stone toward personal and spiritual growth. By embracing rejection as a form of divine guidance, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and experiences that we may have never considered before. Rejection is not a problem to be feared or avoided, it is a natural part of the journey toward self-discovery and fulfillment. By trusting in God's plan and recognizing rejection as a form of divine redirection and protection, we can navigate life's challenges with grace, resilience, and unwavering faith in the path that has been laid out for us. When we face rejection, it's often easy to get caught up in feelings of self-doubt and inadequacy. We may question our worthiness or wonder if we're on the right path. However, if we shift our perspective and see rejection as a form of divine protection, it can help us regain a sense of trust and faith in the bigger picture. Think about the times in your life when you've experienced rejection. Perhaps you didn't get into the college or university you had your heart set on, 
or maybe you were passed over for a promotion at work. In the moment, it can feel like the end of the world, but looking back, you may realize that those rejections were actually blessings in disguise. For example, not getting into your dream school may have led you to discover a different academic program or career path that was better suited to your interests and strengths. Similarly, missing out on a promotion may have motivated you to seek out new opportunities for growth and advancement that you wouldn't have considered otherwise. In each of these instances, God's hand was at work, guiding you toward paths that were more aligned with your true purpose and potential. By closing certain doors, God opened others, leading you toward experiences and opportunities that would ultimately enrich your life in ways you couldn't have imagined. Moreover, rejection can also serve as a humbling reminder of our own limitations and the need for divine guidance in our lives. When we're faced with rejection, it's an opportunity to surrender our ego and acknowledge that we don't have all the answers. Instead of trying to force our way forward, we can lean into faith and trust that God has a plan for us, even if it's not immediately clear. In this way, rejection becomes a spiritual practice, a reminder to surrender to God's will and trust in the process of divine guidance and protection. By embracing rejection as a form of redirection, we can cultivate a deeper sense of faith and resilience, knowing that God is always working behind the scenes to lead us toward our highest good. So, the next time you face rejection, remember that it's not a reflection of your worth or abilities, it's simply God's way of nudging you in a different direction. Trust in the divine plan, and have faith that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Being patient and waiting for the right time to receive God's blessings can be one of the most challenging aspects of faith. When you're facing obstacles or waiting for prayers to be answered, it's natural to feel frustrated or discouraged. However, trusting in God's timing is essential for maintaining faith and finding peace amidst uncertainty. Think of it like this, imagine you're waiting for a train to arrive at the station. You've bought your ticket, you're standing on the platform, and you can hear the distant rumble of the train approaching. But as minutes turn into hours, you start to grow impatient. You wonder if the train will ever come, if you'll ever reach your destination. But just when you're about to give up hope, you see the lights of the train cresting the horizon. In that moment, all your waiting and patience is rewarded as the train pulls into the station right on time. In the same way, waiting for God's blessings requires patience and faith. It's about trusting that God has a plan for you, even when things seem uncertain or difficult. Just because you can't see the end destination or understand the timing of God's blessings doesn't mean they're not on their way. They may be just around the corner, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal themselves to you. Waiting for God's blessings is an opportunity for growth and spiritual development. It teaches you to surrender control and trust in God's wisdom and providence. It's about learning to let go of your own desires and expectations and aligning yourself with God's will. And in that process of waiting and surrendering, you may discover hidden strengths and insights that will prepare you to receive God's blessings with an open heart and mind. God's timing is always perfect, even if it doesn't align with our own. So, when you find yourself growing impatient or discouraged, take a moment to pause and reflect on the journey you're on. Trust that God is guiding you every step of the way, and have faith that His blessings will come to you in the perfect time and in the perfect way.